Oh, YouTube kick just made this whole video, whole thing disrupted, jacked up. Sorry if you're watching this live. Sometimes you do have your technical difficulties when you're live streaming. Oh, we're just going to move right on forward with this. So I'm going to restate what I just said once again. I'm sorry for the people once again who've already heard me say this, but, you know, such is the beauty of life, you know. Too orange. Just trying to give myself a little bit of color. I look kind of weird. Okay, let's get right back into this story that I was talking about. So, does it have it up for me? So, we were talking about a man who has um, a trans woman who was talking about breastfeeding their child, right? And we were just going right into that. So let me just get back right on it. So what ended up happening is, so we had this UK man who called himself a mother, admits to breastfeeding his child, dismisses concerns at the anti-trans hate. So what ended up happening, so there was a video that had come out that was just talking about the bills, right? The water shortage that was going on. And this guy popped up and had this interview. So let's watch it. Taxpayers will end up... This customer fears that either bill payers or taxpayers We'll end up picking up the tab. The idea that we're going to have even greater water bills, soaring bills, a time of uh, prices already being hiked, you know, we have to pay a lot for food. That's tough if your mum like me already struggling to get the things that my kid needs. Customers rightly want the lowest possible pollution, but also the lowest bills for Thames Water and the entire sector. That's creating a financial fault line. Chris Choi, News at 10. Now, that was a simple video, correct? Simple video. Nothing hard, nothing crazy. Well, what ends up happening, right? So at the very beginning of this video, you can see... He's customer watching dishes. Either bill payers or Boom! Somebody catches right here that they're the breastfeeding pump, and now everybody starts asking themselves the question. As you can see somebody here, gender is harmful. They said at one point, the camera appears to focus in on a breast pump. And so everybody's like, well, why do you even have that? Well, they end up being this whole Twitter thing, and it goes into a Twitter feed right here. And this is what Mika ends up saying. But trans women can breastfeed, and I did breastfeed my child. Despite Pilgrim's odd tweet that I simulated breastfeeding, I used the standard protocol created for adopted mothers, and it works for cis, I mean trans or cis women. Two parents breastfeeding is actually very helpful and healthy. Um, very helpful and healthy to the parents. How can the two parents breastfeed, right? Unless they're both mothers, right? But how can two people breastfeed? How can the father and the mother breastfeed? How could that be healthy? How? Because see, once again, they always try to make something that's very unnatural become natural. And they always do that same thing. Remember we had talked a, uh, a little bit ago in another video that what they, they call normal and healthy. That is not normal nor healthy. And so here's the uh, picture that came up. In the end, I only breastfed my child for a few weeks, and then I had to stop because I had a cancer relapse. I hope you get better, Mina. Not which I mean Mika. Not wishing any harm upon you, but this is still delusional as far as the breastfeeding goes. I didn't want to poison my child. Here's me on the bus to the hospital for the first chemo round, breastfeeding my child, and we keep the uh, kid out of the picture. And so we get on to and they start discussing breastfeeding and all that. And then we get to this very end of part where it talks to uh, Redux goes ahead and says <clears throat> that she believed induced lactation in males was biologically and psychologically dangerous for all involved. Men who, co who uh, convey female of physiology in a way are, in my opinion, either suffering from a serious delusion or sexually motivated by the idea of themselves as lactating women. So sex says, there is no, there is no evidence that drug induced uh, secretions from a male nipple. Sorry, <laughs> it's hard to read with this background. There is no evidence that drug induced secretions from a male nipple are in any way equivalent to the mother's milk. It is more likely that the secretions are akin to, I don't really know necessarily how to say this word, but I think it's called uh, galakistor. I can't even say it correctly, but you know what it is. There is the word if you know how to say it. Hey, appreciate you which occurs when abnormal levels of prolactin are released from the pituitary gland in females who aren't pregnant or males with the disease or males with disease. So here's my take on all this. So first of all, I believe what they're talking about is when some men, they do develop like lactating breasts, right? They, they're men with regular chest, but they end up getting this disease that causes their breasts to, I mean, yeah, causes their breasts because they develop somewhat of a breast and to end up 
lactating. You know, men, we call it man boobs, but for this sake, we're not going to call it that. Um, so my opinion on all of this is how dangerous it is, it is for us to start giving into this delusion. Because what people used to say is that being a gender is uh, part of your mind. It's, it's, it's not necessarily a physical thing. Of course, I don't have the women stuff, but that doesn't mean I'm not a woman. But now you have people who are actually talking about having menstrual cycles. You're talking about people who are actually talking about breastfeeding, people who are talking about getting pregnant. And that is the line that we had spoke about before. When we said that if we continue to let people start walking into bathrooms, we start letting men call themselves women. Oh, it's harmful. I mean, it's uh, harmless. Uh, no, it's not. Because what ends up happening is not only does it trickle down from there. When a person lives in a complete delusion, if you let them live in that complete delusion, they'll start to believe it as true. You know, there is a movie called Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a very interesting movie. You should go watch it. But I'll just go ahead and give you a little bit of the premise. So pretty much a man believes a lie so much that he creates this entire scenario that has never happened won't ruin the movie for you but that is pretty much the basis this person is breastfeeding creating a complete scenario that has never happened they believe at one point they truly became a woman right and they can just put chemicals in their bodies or do some self-inducing things to allow themselves to lactate they can do some things that can literally make them a woman you can never and never will be a woman they really truly want us to start to believe this stuff because once again we start giving into this mental illness. We've got some real problems on our hands because even though we're only simply talking about, um, oh, let me give myself some more head space. Need a little headroom. Even though we're only talking about men who are trying to be women, it will get worse if we continue to let this delusion go on. Because if we start allowing people to just live into the delusions, those people who struggle with the delusion, people who have had, um, traumatizing past and stuff like that people who decide to live their life as a child we have seen those if we allow those people to also start to rise and be like well you know what i do believe i'm a seven-year-old boy i do believe i'm an eight-year-old little girl if we start to give into those delusions what where do you think that goes how do you have a relationship with an eight-year-old boy when you're a 30 year 38 year old man are you allowed to date children because you believe this delusion because what is any different for somebody saying i am a woman and that person saying, I am eight years old. I believe it. It is true. I may look 38. I may seem 38, but I truly believe I am eight years old. I'm not even trying to be funny. It's just that's where we have to go. Because if if that doesn't sound like a joke, somebody really, literally coming up to you and saying, I believe that I am a woman, no matter what you say, that is just as delusional as somebody saying they're eight years old and a child. Or somebody was saying, I'm a child in a man's body. I never wanted to grow up. My body keeps growing, but my mind does not. Normally, we would call those people um, mental, either having a mental illness or dealing with some mental disability in some form or fashion. If you believe you truly are a child in a man or woman's body, right? But if we don't get a hold of this, it will only get worse. And y'all know what my backing is behind a lot of this, right? I understand there's also mental illnesses and delusions. But pornography is still playing a role in some of this. When we allow this kind of stuff to ramage through people's minds, right? All the stuff that we see on Twitter, we see on Instagram, and obviously we see on porn sites, where you have people acting like little childs. You have such categories as teen, petty, little girl, some sick stuff out there. Trust me on that one. It continues to get worse and worse and worse. And the more we have people continue to live in delusion, people will push this boundary. And people... And I will tell you this, people who truly don't have the mental illness will push this. We saw a video, well, we didn't see one, but I was watching a video not too long ago about a man who was calling himself a woman, right? But just, just go with me here. There's a man who was calling himself a woman who got arrested because he kept getting, a, getting on a woman's only train in a certain country. He kept getting on a women's only train and groping the women. This guy called himself a woman, dressed like a woman, but every time he got on this train, he would sexually harass the women. He would sexually grope the women. All I am saying is I understand people are going to have gender dysphoria. People are going to live that life. I'm not going to agree with it, and you shouldn't either. But are people going to change their body to pass and look like the other sex? I understand that's going to happen. But at the end of the day, I think it's far more dangerous for us to let people give into this mental illness. If they choose to live their life as such, okay. But that does not mean we have to participate in the delusion 
That does not mean we allow them to use the women's bathrooms. We just have to watch out. Because here's also another thing that I think is very dangerous. And some people may disagree with me on this one. And I would completely understand if you did. But let me just give my quick opinion on this. A little ASMR for you guys. One of the biggest things that I think becomes a problem is this whole concept of passing that I just mentioned. When you get a man who looks so much like a female, especially men who are smaller, right? Men who are, you know, 5'4", five, 5'3", five, small, petite men who can really pass as a woman because of their bone structure and they're already a small person. Those also, to me, could be a danger because a person who wants to go from being a man to want to be a girl, struggling with gender dysphoria, still has mental illness. You still have to be careful with the people. Just because they look like a woman and they can pass doesn't mean that their life is going well. We all know people who are living life and it seems like everything is going okay, but truly inside their mind it's not. That could be the same with me. That could be the same with you watching this video. So when you see somebody who looks like a woman can pass any day of the week, I'm not going to name no names, but we saw this happen not too long ago. These people still have mental illnesses, still have issues, and we still need to make sure we don't um, completely give in to the delusion completely. If this person wants to come out and say, I want to be a man again, we need to allow that. We need to always let that be a possibility because that'll be true acceptance in my opinion. Okay, living your life as the opposite gender, to me, will never be true acceptance. It will always lead to an insecurity that will never allow you to live life to the fullest. Some of you may disagree with me, and that's perfectly okay. But that's just my opinion. So, Mina, I mean, uh, Mika, you want to breastfeed your child? You think it's trans hate? I would disagree. I think you're living in the delusion that could be very hard for your child. Your child is going to grow up with a trans woman as a dad. Okay, they're going to they're gonna grow up knowing that their mother was actually a man who was struggling with a mental illness. You don't think that's going to affect them. You think that's going to make them happy and free. No, it's going to make them a very confused child because they're not going to understand why. And unless you can come out and say, it's a mental illness, son, and I'm struggling. But you come out and say, this is my life. I'm really a woman. That child is going to grow up in a very, very destructive environment, in my opinion. Maybe well taken care of. May have all the food and all the necessities. But something that happens to a child mentally when they see that their father is a, a woman who was breastfeeding them, living in a complete delusion of life, it will have an effect whether you know it or not. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have a great day.